Hi, my name's Doug and welcome to Emerald Hill Skies, which as you might be able to see are pretty socked in with clouds today. But what do you do on a weekend when uh, the clouds are up and your spirits would otherwise be down? How about setting your horizons file? We use here at Emerald Hill Skies a targeting software called uh, Astral Planner. It helps us figure out what's up and what's not. And uh, with a good horizon file, we can see when an object rises and when it will set. So we're gonna use an app today, the Odalite. They'll let us shoot the horizon and then we're gonna show you how to configure that file so that you can import it into Astral Planner and have your own horizon file in your own app. So let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna assume that you've got uh, the Odalite loaded. And when you open it up, you'll see on the left-hand side of the screen, a nice, uh, what would you call it? A, uh, a level so that you can get the, the, the device leveled from left to right. And then at the bottom, you can see an azimuth, like a compass direction, compass points. Then on the right, you can see a, an altitude setting so that you can measure how high you're, you're aiming in the sky or how low. So what I wanted to try to do is uh, start our um, uh, file at what would be due north or zero, zero on the azimuth. Then we want to hit log and say add data. You just touch the add data screen. And when you do that, you'll hear a beep. And then whenever the um, uh, the horizon changes shape, click another data point whenever it changes its altitude. And you see I'm working my way down uh, through the valleys and above the trees. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, speed up the process a lot so you don't have to watch me doing the whole uh, horizon the whole way through. So this is the first step, is to shoot all these targets. And then if you look over to the right there in that little panel that's revealed, there is a, a mail button uh, down at the lower, the lower part of that panel. Now we're gonna click on that mail button. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up the device's email setting. And assuming you've got the device configured to send email, you can put in a, an address here. Uh, an address for yourself and I'm just gonna fill one in so that it comes to me then you just hit the send button in the upper right and Theodolite will actually mail this file to you so that you can have a copy in your inbox and you can scan down and kind of see there's a lot of gibberish there but there's also an attachment and it's the attachment that we'll use now in the new uh, in our email client you can see a lot of the uh, gibberish but you can also see this attached file and it's the attached file that we want to save in a particular place uh, you can open it up here and we don't need all of these columns we need this column that we're going to label as our azimuth and then we need this column that's uh, previously labeled vert and we're going to change it to the word lower they are going to delete all the other columns because they aren't really relevant for this import process so that when we're when we're done we will have uh, deleted all but these two columns the column for azimuth and the column for lower now if you were doing any experimentation make sure you delete any of those extra rows and that's what I'm doing right here. Change the first azimuth setting, uh, make sure it reads zero, and make sure the last one reads 360. And then save this file, but make sure you leave it in the comma separated value that it is already saved in when it comes to you. Save it in a location that you know that you can find again. In this case, I'm navigating to the folder where I have all of these files that I'm collecting for this video, for example. 
and save it in a name that you know you'll be able to go back to and find. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open, uh, by the way, you don't have to save it again after you get ready to close the program. It's going to ask you, do you want to keep it in that? And you can say no. Now we're going to open Astro Planner. And when we open Astro Planner, um, you'll see what I mean. It's basically, you'll be able to see the list of files. Now, sometimes it'll say, do you want to delete any duplicates? And that's what we have at the beginning. But you'll, you'll see a list of, not files rather, but the targets that you have in your next observing list. And what I've got here are a collection of um, Messier objects and a few other objects that I want to find. And you'll see that all those are in a, a big observing list. Right now, what we want to do is go up at the top and we want to look under edit and then we want to go to resources. So we're going to find edit resources and under resources over at the far right, you'll see the horizon file and you'll see there are different choices underneath it. But if we double click it, we can click on clear it and click OK if you have a previous horizon file. Now we're going to right click and import and find the file that we just prepared and click OK. Uh, when we do that, the new, the new horizon file will, will just appear. And that's all there is to it. Now we click File Save, just so that's saved. We close that window. And now we're able to do a sort based on um, the height, you know, the altitude, but also the visibility. You can see the column for uh, visible and any any um, item that's got the the name for the abbreviation for horizon. It means that object is now beyond. It's behind the horizon file that you've configured. If it says yes, then that means it is visible. So this instantly gives you a way. Um, Notice that even if you've sorted by altitude, now with your particular objects that are on your horizon, you'll know which objects are visible uh, to be able to be uh, to be able to be seen. Now with Astro Planner, you can configure the time to be whatever you want, and figure out which objects you want to see. Well, I hope this video has been helpful, and we'll look forward to uh, being back with you in the next one. So thanks, and I hope you can do your own import of your own horizon. God bless. Have a great day.